autumn is the perfect season for photography with its vibrant colors and the sunlight. Meet photographers who capture the gift of nature just in time for the season. Autumn is the season of harvest to enjoy nature's bounty. Find out about the fragrant fall delicacy, pine mushrooms. Enjoy Korean traditional culture and the scent of autumn in Hanok of Andong. The Jeju Ole Trail offers a new way of enjoying the scenery of Jejudo Island. Learn more about the trail courses in celebration of its 10th anniversary. What moments would you like to capture? Let's take a glimpse at the autumn scenery captured by photographers and the stories and memories the photos convey. The first spot to welcome the arrival of autumn is the Kuri Hangang Park on the Hangang River. It is the largest cosmos plant habitat in Seoul, 120,000 meters square in size that offers breathtaking natural scenery every autumn. Cosmos flowers are also known as the Herald of Autumn because they bloom in early autumn to announce the arrival of the season with this magnificent beauty. We caught up with photographer Lee Yong Man who captures that beautiful scenery. The veteran photographer keeps a record of autumn around this time every year. Meanwhile, there are also young couples enjoying sweet moments in this cosmos field. 저는 가을엔 데이트하기 제일 좋은 날씨인 것 같아요. 봄은 봄대로 환절기 고생 엄청 하고 여름은 더워가지고 데이트 잘 못하고 겨울은 추워가지고 잘 못하는데 가을은 모든 커플들이 다 좋아하는 계절이지 않을까. 데이트하기 너무 딱 좋아서. 조규식 enjoys the new season in his unique way. He reminisces about his past footsteps in life while capturing the cosmos field. 내년이면 60인데 어, 어떻게 보면 어떻게 인생에 있어서 이제 가을이 됐죠. 그래서 가을은 뭐 인제, 일반적으로 그냥 풍요를 기원을 하고 또 새로운 어, 겨울에 대한 준비하고 뭐 이런 것들 그래서 그냥 가을은 그냥 뭐 다른 아무 생각 없이 뭐 즐길 수 있는 그런 계절. The second spot to welcome the autumn is the Susam area in Hwasong, Gyeonggi-do province, a two-hour drive from Seoul. Known for its endless fields, Susam is dubbed the Serengeti of Korea. Oh, Susam is such a beautiful place. It's really beautiful. Wow. This site is one of the most famous photography hotspots in Korea. Yu Tae-suk took up photography as a hobby 15 years ago and visited the site with his friend. The point is, the Susam is on the right side of the tree and the other side of the tree the most famous of the Susam is the most famous of the Susam. This rocky field in the middle of the vast field is Susam. The site, in fact, is full of interesting, fun elements. Along with the rustling reeds, the sea plant East Asian seaweed, or soeda, are bathing the site a radiant red. Plus, little shells are spread everywhere. The secret of this site is that it is reclaimed land that was created after the construction of Shiwa Tide Embankment which connects Xiheng in Gyeonggi-do province with Daebudo Island. Through the process, some little islands on the sea turned into land, creating unique autumn scenery. The photographers are capturing Susam in autumn. They take photos to keep a record of nature, 
and nature rewards their reverence with unforgettable beauty. 이 광활한 대지, 이 늪에 섬이 하나 딱 가운데 있어서 너무 아름답고 우뚝 솟은 게 너무 이쁩니다. The last spot to welcome the autumn is Sky Park in Mapogu, Seoul. The park offers a magnificent sight with yellow sunflowers in full bloom. Planted in spring, the flowers had to endure the hottest days of summer months before finally blooming. This beautiful scene is the ultimate fruit of that long wait. These three girls visited the site together for the second year in a row to enjoy the sheer magnificence of the season. 오늘 해바라기가 많이 폈다을 해서 왔어요. Here too, lovebirds capture the beautiful scenery with their cameras. 가을은 봄이랑은 또 다른 매력이 있는 계절이라고 생각하게 되, 되었습니다. 해바라기나 그런 억새 풍경으로 사진을 또 남길 수 있어서 또또 또 다른 매력이 있는 계절인 것 같습니다. Autumn comes in the air with a crisp breeze and turns the world into one big canvas for nature's paintbrush. Why don't you capture your memories of the season with a camera? The autumn flavor is fully in the air at Udusan Mountain in Gochang, Gyeongsangnam-do Province. Walking through a desolate in a mountain path in the heart of the mountain, we see a hidden treasure of the season. It's pine mushrooms, also known as masutake. Let's begin an intense aromatic adventure with autumn's gift. These guys are climbing a rugged mountain path, gasping for air. They're hunting wild pine mushrooms in time for the harvest season. The once yearly harvest season begins around September 7th and lasts for 40 days. Pine mushrooms grow only in optimal soil, not too moist or dry, and require humidity at around 70 percent and the ground surface temperature of 19 degrees Celsius. The hunter looks around the mountain forest and then gazes at one spot. Unfortunately, the crop for the year is not what they expected. Pine mushrooms are categorized into grades based on their shape and size. Ones with button-tight buds, veils completely intact, and over 8 centimeters tall are the creme de la creme. Top quality pine mushrooms are true rarities even for these veteran hunters with 40 years of experience under their belt. The clock is ticking, but the hunters haven't been able to achieve the desired results. They continue to search for the mountains deeper in the forest. After a long while. Underneath a thick layer of pine needles is pine mushrooms. Yeah, 
모양도 요래 이쁘게 요래 나야 됩니다. 그래 요래 최상품입니다. 요게. The name of the mushroom came from where it grows, the soil beneath pine trees. The spores are produced only around the roots of pine trees. Therefore, they cannot be farmed, making it more elusive. Pine mushrooms are famous for its signature spicy and intense flavor and surprisingly firm texture. So called the truffles of Asia, they are rich in anti cancerous properties and reinforce the immune system along many other health benefits. The hunters take each and every step very carefully because they can easily step on the mushrooms which are hiding underneath pine needles. With his careful touch, this hunter harvested three mushrooms from one place. Pine mushrooms should be consumed raw for the best taste, texture, and flavor. So, how does it taste? Wow, it's good. It's good. That thrilling aromatic adventure keeps the hunters going back to the mountain. The hunters have been on duty from early morning to late in the afternoon. The work is exhausting, but they cannot give up on the pine mushrooms that they dedicated their lives to. All of my feet are stuck. Please, if you see one, I'll get it. I'm so excited. 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 Pine mushrooms announce the arrival of autumn with its spicy odor. And the season is working its magic with that irresistible scent. Eves create a beautiful scenery with the blue sky with a narrow wooden porch running along the outside of rooms, keeping a record of time. Hanok, Korean traditional house with hundreds of years of history, are taking us back in time during autumn. Andong is a small city in Gyeongsangbukdo province, where traditional culture is embedded in the whole region. The Nakdonggang River, the longest river in Korea, flows through the city. The river offers peaceful, serene scenery, and there's a hanok against Yangnamsan Mountain. Over the stone wall, a majestic traditional house captures the eye. It's called Imcheonggak. Imcheonggak is open for everyone. Also, some 40 big and small parts of the house capture the passing of time. The in-house cultural commentator provides an insight into history. The house must be a pleasant surprise for these children who are used to modern housing. Im Cheonggak was built in 1519, about 500 years ago, famous for its size, 99 rooms, and cultural value. This grand house is designated as National Cultural Heritage. For the same reason, the descendants are currently using seven rooms as a guest house after minimal maintenance work. About 10 square meters in size, 
the room looks cozy and humble. This place brings a natural world inside, a signature trait of Hanok. Therefore, guests can get a glimpse into the way Korean ancestors enjoyed nature and life. The Lee clan of Andong was a noble family where seven independent patriots came from. The house was a cradle of Korean independence movement during Japanese occupation. And Japanese built a railroad just seven meters away from the house in response to their participation in the independence movement. During the construction process, about half of the house was lost. The railway noise and vibrations still damage the cultural heritage. The good thing is the double tracking of the railway is currently under construction and the house will be able to maintain an adequate distance from the railway soon. More guests visit the house at sunset. The owner serves chrysanthemum tea and Korean sweets to the guests, who had to make a long journey to the house. It's their way of expressing their gratitude to people who treasure the cultural value of Imcheonggak. Now, the sun is gone, and the moon is illuminating the night. And there's another light, Korean traditional paper lamp. The guests enjoy a night walk with that dim light. Everything is very different from the city's night. Then, we hear tranquil music from this old traditional house. The tegum, Korean bamboo flute, and the hegum, Korean string, present beautiful harmony. The autumn night is getting deeper and the 500-year-old Hanok enjoys another beautiful night. Hanok displays the quintessence of Korean traditional culture. Why don't you experience that authentic beauty this fall? The Jeju Ole Trail on Jejudo Island is one of the best places in Korea to enjoy the autumn scenery. And each and every corner is brimming with visitors in time for the season. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the Jeju Ole Trail. We caught up with Samyang Suk, the founder of the beautiful Jeju Ole Trail to highlight its past, present, and the future. The Jeju Ole Trail is a series of walking trails that stretch around the entire coast of the island. It is one of the many attractions and activities that Jeju has to offer. In the local dialect, Ole refers to the narrow path between the street and one's doorstep. 
The first course was constructed in September 2007 around Seongsan Ilchulbong or Seongsan Sunrise Peak on the east end of the island. Since then, a total of 26 courses have been constructed, and the total distance, 425 kilometers, is twice the length of the entire coastline. All 26 routes treat visitors' eyes to beautiful views throughout the year. Seom Young Suk, the founder of the Jeju Ole Trail, seems genuinely overwhelmed by the accomplishment. 10여 년 전에 제주도의 관광의 이 상태가 뭐였냐면 아 이제 너무 많이 갔다 이제 제주도 다 봤다 다 알겠다 지루하다 이제 다른 데 가야지 혹은 왜 가? 뭐 이런 정도가 돼가고 있었어요. She began paving Jeju trails in 2006 with the hope of presenting a new way of enjoying the island as opposed to merely visiting a few well-known tourist destinations. Cleared all the stones and pebbles by hand without the use of any heavy machineries whatsoever to create the Ole Trail. Among them, Route 7 has very special significance for her. <laughs> 늘 소풍 6년 동안 왔던 저 앞에 솔숲으로 소풍 왔던 공간이고 대학교 졸업반 때는 어그 당시 학생 운동 시위 때문에 감옥을 몇달 갔다 와서 아픔을 치유했던 그리고 어 자신을 달랬던 그런 공간이기도 하고요. Despite worries and concerns about success, she opened the first trekking course 10 years ago and presented a whole new way of enjoying the island, reviving the tourism industry dramatically. Tourists not only visit the trekking courses in spring and fall, the best time for walking, but also in summer and winter. Also, many of them revisit the trail courses to enjoy the serene beauty of the island throughout the four seasons. 지금 친구들이랑 왔는데요. 나중에는 남편이랑 손잡고 어 올레길 제주도 올레길을 두루 어 걸어볼 생각입니다. What is attracting visitors to the Jeju Ole Trail? 세계 어디인데나도 손색이 없고 그런 치명적인 자연의 아름다움이 첫째고요. 두 번째는 지역 주민들이 또 친절이라고 봐요. 그좀 서툴긴 하지만 진짜 마음에서 우러나오는 친절. 지나가면 밀감이라도 밀감처럼 밀감 하나라도 주시고 감자 하나라도 주시는 그런 친절의 사람들이 또 어, 굉장히 잔상이 남는 그런 길이라고 해요. Away from their hectic daily lives, visitors appreciate the benefits of slowing down, enjoying nature close up, and interacting with fellow travelers and locals in a more humane way. Along the trail course is Ole Grandma's homestay, where visitors can take a glimpse into the lives of Jeju locals. The number of visitors grew with the Jeju Ole Trail, but there weren't enough hotels or residences that could accommodate all of them. Therefore, the locals began to rent a room in their house in 2009, in the early phase of the Jeju Ole Trail construction. 전국에서 손님들이 많이 왔을 때 정신 없었고 재미졌죠. 할망은 밥하느라 정신 없고 나는 손님들 정리하고 청소하느라고 정신이 없었고. The Jeju Ole Trail is considered a Korean pilgrimage for hikers and provided the island another revolutionary leap in the tourism infrastructure. Also, it sparked a walking sensation in the mainland Korea and other Asian countries as well.
꿈 중에 하나죠. 네. 서명숙 hopes the Jeju Ole Trail becomes a medium of communication, interaction, and healing. 이 길에 몇 명이 오느냐가 사실 중요한 게 아니라 얼마나 이 길을 걸으면서 사람들이 감동하느냐가 저희들의 욕심이에요. The last 10 years of the trail was a great success. That's exactly what makes us anticipate the next decade and beyond for the trail. Thank you.